Hi, I'm Jacqueline Dean, Subject Advisor for Art, Design & Media at Pearson. This short video is designed to help you understand the resubmission and retake processes in the BTEC Tech Award 2022 Art and Design Practice Qualification. For Component 1, where a learner has not achieved their expected level of performance after marking the work, centers may authorize one opportunity to improve evidence and resubmit for internal assessment. This can be authorized by the assessor. Resubmission of evidence for internally assessed components does not require a full new set of evidence. Learners should focus on improving evidence in areas where they did not achieve their expected potential. For this reason, the time given to learners to improve evidence may not require the full approximate time stated on the PSA. However, learners may be given up to the full time if necessary. Any resubmissions must be done prior to submitting marks for moderation. In order to meet the requirements for resubmission, feedback to learners can only be given to clarify areas where they have not achieved expected levels of performance. Learners cannot receive any specific guidance or instruction about how to improve work to meet mark bands or be given solutions to questions or problems in the tasks. Internal assessment should be conducted in time to allow for this resubmission opportunity prior to moderation, should it be needed. Following submission of marks for moderation, there is no further opportunity for learners to resubmit improved evidence based on the same completed assignment. When recording the resubmission achievement and feedback, there is no need for a separate resubmission assessment record sheet. Resubmission marks can be overwritten on the original assessment record sheet and additional comments added. It is advisable to keep internal records of this so that there is a clear audit trail to satisfy any future queries, such as those from learners or parents. Learners can retake internally assessed and moderated components once. Following external moderation of a component, if the results achieved are not satisfactory, a learner may like to retake the internal assessment to improve their mark. Learners may be given one retake opportunity for each component using the new Pearson Set Assignment, or PSA, in a later assessment series. A new PSA for Component 1 is set for Art and Design Practice once per academic year in the June assessment series. When retaking internal assessments, it is the best outcome for the component that will be used towards the qualification outcome. If learners are retaking internally assessed components, they must respond to the new PSA release for that series. Learners are permitted to adapt work from their initial sitting where it is appropriate. They can use the full allocated time, including monitored preparatory periods, and if they choose to adapt work from their initial sitting, they will need to repurpose, build upon, and or amend their work to meet the context of the new PSA. Learners should never be overly guided on how to improve their work, and if assistance is provided, this should be documented and considered during assessment. The marks awarded for each component are converted to uniform mark scores, or UMS, to maintain fairness and comparability from one series to the next. The final qualification grade for each learner is determined by adding together the UMS achieved for each component. This makes the qualification fully compensatory, meaning learners can achieve their final grade through any combination of the UMS from any component. Furthermore, there is no longer a level 1 pass requirement in any component. A grade of unclassified or U in any component is considered an outcome and will allow learners to certificate as long as they have gained sufficient UMS points from all components for an overall qualification grade. Therefore, you should consider carefully whether a learner will benefit by retaking a component as it may not be necessary to achieve the desired qualification grade. The total UMS required to achieve qualification grades are detailed in the specification. The terminal assessment rule requires the externally assessed component to be taken at the end of the qualification. This means the internal component must be set either prior to or in the same series as the external assessment to fulfill the terminal rule. For more information, please visit the BTEC Tech Awards 2022 Quality Assurance page. This page has resources to support you, as well as a link to the Center Guide to Quality Assurance. You can also visit the Tech Awards Support Index for frequently asked questions and support. In addition, please also refer to my other bite-sized videos. For any further clarification, advice, and guidance, please feel free to contact us using the details on the main specification page. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to supporting you and your center.